fourth class, Barry Guckian and Andrew Guckian. Barry and Andrew. <laughs> Hi, chaps. How's the form? That's all right. As you can see, still in his gymnastic clothes. That was a great display. These two fellas have a rather extraordinary history. Not your average life at all. Sure, it has not been. These fellas have been all over the world. Well, not quite all over the world, but certainly much further afield than most of us have been. Tell us some of the places where you've lived. Uh, we lived in um, Syria for five years. And, uh, Syria? Yeah. Where is that? Uh, it's in the Middle East. Mm -hmm. And um, before that, we lived in um, Israel or somewhere like that. Oh, and what about Ethiopia? Uh, we lived there for two years. Whereabouts in Ethiopia did uh, you live? It's in um, Africa, Addis. on the Horn of Africa. And you lived in Addis, that's the capital of Ethiopia. Yep. Right, tell me, what was it like being there? Did you go to school there? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Well, we, and the school was very big, it was bigger than the school we are in now. And then um, they, there was, I was in third class and second class there. And, there was each and what was the difference between the school there and the school here? I mean, was it completely different? Not completely, but they had different things. We weren't learning French. The lower classes weren't learning French, but the fifth and that were. And what's the place like? Because the impression that we have here, all we ever see about Ethiopia is famines and people dying and starvation and war. I mean, what was it like where you were? Uh, we're living in um, a compound, four houses, and uh, it's not bad. Not bad? No, it's a nice place to live in. And, um, <coughs> Some of the people are friendly and some of them aren't. And what, what were the local people like? Um, some of them were nice. Nice in what sort of way? I mean, were they completely different? Did they dress the same? Did they talk the um, same? They, they didn't have good clothes. They didn't have good clothes, no. And um, they were... Like, you could go and talk to them. At, a, at night, it wouldn't be very safe to go outside. Why? Why was that? Um, you could get robbed by some of them. And did you travel outside the city often? Yeah. yeah. We went what's, to a, what's, what's it like outside? We went to a lake called Langano. Mm -hmm. So there's three Langanos and we went to the tree them once. And um, the t Langano tree is the most popular. Um, most people go to that. How, how did you manage to do this? I mean, as I say, it's not everybody's ordinary, average, everyday sort of lifestyle. What took you out there? Um, my dad works with the UN. Mm -hmm. so, um, he what does he do? Uh, he's a talk in telecommunications. And um, he has to just be with the radios. And in fact, he's not with us at the moment, sure he's not? No, he's in Pakistan. What's he doing in Pakistan, do you reckon? I'm working. All right, chap. I think we have already got our ge next guest set in, isn't that mm -hmm. what we've got? We've got, who is it? Claire Crowley. Claire Crowley. And she's, what's she going to be doing? Uh, playing, playing the piano. piano. Correct, absolutely. Claire, hello. Lovely to have you with us. Thank you very much indeed. Yes, you may cheer, you may applaud. Now, Claire is going to play a piece of Scott Joplin for us, isn't that correct, Claire? Yes, away you go. <laughs> 